Hello, my dear family members. Within very few days, you are going to sit for Accenture exam, right? So that's why, keeping that in my mind, I thought to upload various Accenture image of his question which are recently asked and which can be repeated. Okay, you know. Other contents can be available in internet, in Google and YouTube, but MS Office related questions are very rare. So please watch carefully and apply this in your exam. Okay. So let's start with the first question. So the first question is this. In a PowerPoint presentation, a user wants to create a table that has two columns, its number and company, as shown in the given image. Which of the following options is the initial step when creating the table? So as you can see, this is the image. I mean the table figure, its number and company are two columns, name, and this is the heading also. Okay. And total 11, I mean total 12 rows are there, including the heading. Okay so these are the options please pause the video and try to answer so the first option is at first insert then table then select the 12 rows and two columns or you will do this option two insert then table then insert table number of columns two and number of rows as 12 then okay so uh, i i hope you are uh, you, you, you are able to see the other options as well. So please pause the video and try to answer the options because this will be very much helpful while your exam as well. Okay. So uh, let me show you what you have to do. Okay. So in PowerPoint. Okay. So if you are want to create, you want to create tables. So as you can see, there are only two cross eight available, not up to 12. Okay. So if you want to insert 12 rows or 11 rows then you have to click on the insert then you have to enter the number of columns at first that is 2 and including the heading table heading rows you have to include total 12 rows okay so you can create this type of column that means as you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so total 12 but apart from the apart from the header you will have total 11 column 11 rows okay so this way you have to do that means at first you have to insert you have to click on insert sorry you have to click on insert table then you have to uh, you have to enter the column number then you have to enter the row number then okay so this is the correct option which one this is so this option 2 okay so insert then table then insert table then number of columns as 2 and number of rows as 12 then okay so option 2 is the correct answer so i have not pain right now with me so please tick this okay so option 2 is the correct answer so let me show you the next question but before we proceed to the next question i recommend you to have the prime materials of accenture in which i have included all the recent msfs questions with answer and all the coding questions with answer as well right so to get that knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.tf you will get it and be mindful this is paid okay so let's go to the next question that is this so you have let's say you if you have an english documentation that you need to send to spanish speaking friend who doesn't not understand english which tool in image word can assist both you and your friend in understanding the document so here are the options uh, those are what thesaurus tool and uh, translate tool research tool and spelling and grammar check so what tool will you use okay so i hope you understood what you need to do so let me show you what you can do okay so in ms word you can go in the review button i mean uh, review section and you can see here is a translate option translate tool you can use this to make the work easier for both like for you and and your spanish speaking friend okay so that means the translate tool the option 2 option b will be the correct answer okay so please click uh, i mean please click on this this is the correct answer i have not pain so that's why i'm not picking uh, i'm not ticking on it okay so let's go to the next question that is this you are working on a 50 page business report in image word you used a custom logo for your company on page one in the header which is the same for every page however you were informed that the logo has been updated and you need to replace it in your report what is the most efficient way to accomplish this so as you can see this is the uh, header you can see in the word file so what options will be the most correct manually replace the logo on each page 
use the head use the find and replace tool to replace the image or delete the old image and insert the new logo on the first page or edit the header delete the old logo insert the new logo what will be the correct answer so among the options option d will be the correct option okay i am uh, please tick on it okay i'm just showing you how so let's say this is the image which is what which is a header okay just what you need to do just edit it and just delete it and replace it with another image okay so let's uh sorry let's take it okay so as you can see all the old images of header were changed okay so this way you can do that that's why option 4 option d will be the correct answer edit the header delete the old logo and insert the new logo okay so i hope you understood okay so let me show you the next question that is this okay so while applying conditional formatting in excel we can check the conditions against formula cell value or table so options are only one only two or both one and two and both two and three what options will be the correct option so i hope you will pause the video and try to answer the questions but before i proceed to answer i will again recommend you to have the prime materials okay so that you can crack it easily and if you want to discuss more then please join our telegram channel t.me slash if can now okay and please follow our instagram channel instagram.com slash techno.ef okay so let's discuss the question so what will be the correct answer so formula and cell value both will be the correct answer okay so we can check the conditions against formula and cell value both okay so uh this is to remember okay so let's so let me show you the next question that will be a quiz question for you okay so this is the last question and the quiz question for you you are working on a research paper that requires extensive citation and referencing you want to add food notes to your document using microsoft word which of the given options in microsoft word allows you to insert footnotes in your document so the options are insert then text box page layout then footnote references then insert footnote view then reading view so please think wisely and give the answers very carefully okay so that it will be helpful for you only not for me okay so i hope this much of a discussion this much of uh information was very much helpful to you so if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and if you want the prime materials then don't forget to damn me at my id right so we have prime materials like accenture cognizant tech mahindra capgemini delight and infosys lti mind tree etc etc so if you want then please damn me at insta id okay instagram.com slash techno.tf you will get it and be mindful this is paid but very affordable so thank you for today's session